Yeah, this is Mike Goodchild with the Walton County Extension Office. We're out here today with a landowner burning the underbrush and some five-year-old longleaf pine, which are in the sampling stage, which is the most vulnerable growth period of the longleaf pine. Uh, but it's a quick fire, 40% humidity, temperature right around 70 degrees with a 10 mile an hour southwest wind. So where the flames are not in the trees very long. So our goal here is to release some native grasses, kill some disease without damaging the pines. Once again, continuing here is another look at our fire. One reason we are burning it with a little wind is some of the ground cover is awful thin. A lot of bare spots, so this 10 to 12 mile an hour breeze out of the southwest is helping carry the fire. Also, one thing to remember out there as landowners, that there are a lot of cost share programs available to assist you with the cost of burning, whether it be with the Florida Forest Service, the Farm Service Agency, the NRCS Agency, or the Fresh Water and Game Conservation Commission. Uh, there are a lot of different programs out there that you might want to look into for getting some assistance with the burning cost. Uh, just a couple final thoughts here as we wrap up this 30 acre burn. Uh, one thing too you got to remember, it's good to wear some protective clothing. You know, if you can't have Nomex pants, at least have some good blue jeans on. And I do have, as you can see here, I do have a yellow Nomex shirt on. It ran about $70. And some either glasses, I also have some uh, goggles in case I get into a high smoke area. And of course, a good set of leather gloves is important. And then also, you know, just to ease and burning, a lot of people make up their own fuel mixture, but we like two-thirds diesel, one-third gas. Uh, if you got some kerosene around, that also will work instead of diesel. And then, of course, uh, a good drip torch, which will run you a hundred some dollars, but it's really a handy unit as I'm holding up here. Uh, it'll last for years. Uh, so, just some things to think about. Always think safety. Always notify your neighbors when you're going to be burning and get your burn permit from the appropriate officials in your area, which is usually the local state forestry service. Well, I'll see you later. Until next time, I wish you well and happy burning.